<clears throat> Hi, this is Dr. John Bergduff. In this video, I'd like to show you a very nice example of writing an equation of a perpendicular line. So, in the example we'd like to do, I want to write the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line 3x plus 5y equal 15 and that passes through the point negative 2, negative 4. Now before we get started, I want to mention some tools that we have been learning uh, which will help us in solving this problem. And many of these things are things that you're really going to want to memorize because you will have many, many applications. So here are some tools. First of all, we need to know the slope-intercept formula, y equal mx plus b. In this formula, the M stands for the slope of the line and the B stands for the Y intercept. So you need to know that one. You also need to know the slope point formula. Y minus Y1 equal M times the quantity X minus X1. And in this formula, the M stands for slope again, but the X1, Y1 refers to just any point on the line. It doesn't have to be the Y intercept, something else. Now, oftentimes, in, when we get to the final answer, we're asked to write our equation in standard form. Standard form of a line looks like this, ax plus by equals c. But there are some important rules of etiquette about that uh, format. First of all, the a, b, and c must all be integers. And it's also understood that the a, the leading coefficient, the one in front of the x, cannot be negative. And finally, one more fact that we need to know, and that is that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slope. Now, opposite reciprocal, the opposite refers to the sign, so changing the sign, and the reciprocal refers to inverting the fraction. So we invert the fraction and change the sign. Now, if you're happening to be, happening to be working on a, an equation of a parallel line, parallel lines have the same slope, so that might be useful to you as well. So with all that said, let's jump in and give this a try. Write, again, write the equation of a line perpendicular to the line 3x plus 5y equal 15 that passes through the point negative 2, negative 4. And I'm going to propose four steps. The first step is this. Find the slope of the given line by writing its equation in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form, again, looks like this. And I can get any linear equation in that form by solving for y. Actually, I just kind of screwed up that b. Let me make it look a little bit more like a b. So here's what we can do. I can take my equation 3x plus 5y equal 15, and in solving for y, that I'm meaning that I want to get y by itself. So I can subtract the 3x from both sides, so that we only have y terms on the, on the left. The 3x minus 3x would add to 0, and you would then have 5y equal 15 minus 3x. I'm going to write the negative 3x term up front, though, because that will get us closer to the y equal mx plus b format that I'm aiming for. And to get the y completely by itself, I would then need to divide by 5. The 5's on the left will divide out. And on the right, I recommend that we split this into two fractions, negative 3x over 5 plus 15 over 5. And then in the first fraction, rewrite that so it's exactly in the form y equal mx plus b. And the 15 over 5, we might as well simplify down to 3. Now it is in the form y equal mx plus b. And the reason we did that is we, needed, we wanted to know what the slope of that line is. The slope will be the value of m, that number right there. So the given line, the line that I was originally given, has a slope of negative three-fifths. Now that's not for the line we want, that's for the line we were given. Step two, find the slope of the perpendicular line that you want. So the line that we started out with, we just figured out that its slope was negative three-fifths, just checking, 
perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes, so the line that I want, that I'm trying to create, I will, to get its slope, I will change the sign from negative to positive and take the reciprocal of the fraction. Change the sign, invert the fraction. That would be the slope that I want. Now, write the equation in slope-intercept form of the line you want using the slope-point formula. This is where this formula can come into play. This is a wonderful formula to use when you're being asked to write the equation of a line. Actually, probably more useful than the slope-intercept form because you don't have to know the y-intercept. You just have to know a point and the slope. The slope, we went to all this work to figure out, and the point is the point that we're given that we want the line to pass through. So my x1 refers to the x value of that point, and my y1 refers to the y value of that point. So plugging things in, this would look like this. y minus, now y1 is negative, so y minus negative 4 equals, and the m we want to use is 5 thirds, x minus, and then x1 is negative 2. Let's simplify that just a little bit by thinking about how subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So then we have y plus 4 equals 5 thirds times x plus 2. All right, now let's take that and get that into slope-intercept form. The, let me just rewrite that on the next page. That'll be much easier. So y plus 4, this is just the equation we just had. y plus 4 equals 5 thirds x plus 2. To get this in slope-intercept uh, form, we can distribute the 5 thirds across the parentheses. So y plus 4 equals 5 thirds x. Think of the 2 as 2 over 1. So when we multiply 5 over 3 by 2 over 1, we'll get 10 over 3. And then finally, to get that completely in slope-intercept form, subtract 4 from both sides. So I'll subtract a 4 from the left. Oops, I want to change. I want the colors to be different. Equals 5 thirds x plus 10 thirds minus 4. The 4s will add out. And I will have this. And then you might say, you know, uh, shouldn't we find a common denominator? And actually, technically, I guess we really should, but you know what? We're going to do something in the next step that's going to get rid of all of these fractions anyway. So I'm going to get ever so slightly lazy and not combine these two terms. Just leave them exactly as they are. Uh, I could find a common denominator. It's very, very simple. But you'll see in a minute why this is really going to be good enough. Now, the, what we have right here actually is the equation of the line, of the perpendicular line that we were trying to create. However, we usually want to take that line and write it in standard form. So I want to show you how we do that. So let's remind ourselves where we are right now. y equal 5 thirds x plus 10 thirds minus 4. Standard form again, ax plus by equals c. That's where we're aiming for. So you'll notice that that involves getting the x and y terms together on the left and the constants on the right. And you may also remember that I said that the a, the b, and the c have to be integers. That means they can't be fractions. Actually, what turns out to be probably the easiest thing to do first is to handle that issue of the fractions. We know that it's always legal to multiply both sides of, the, of an equation by the same thing. And if I happen to multiply both sides by the common denominator of the fractions, it'll clear out the fractions for me. So let's get rid of those pesky fractions that we don't love anyway by multiplying both sides by 3. 
the common denominator, distributing the three across the terms on the right. And you'll see now why I didn't really care about finding a common denominator. 3y equals, now 3 times 5 thirds, the, the denominator of 3 would divide out, and you just have 5x. 3 times 10 thirds, the 3 would divide out, and you just have 10. And finally, 3 times 4 is 12. Now we can go ahead and say 3y equal 5x minus 2. We can go ahead and combine those now. Didn't need a common denominator. Now we're still not where we need to be. We want to get to this form here, which means the x and y terms need to be together on the left side. Easy enough to do, we will subtract 5x from both sides. Like that. So the x terms on the right will add to zero. On the left side, because a standard form has the x term first, let's reverse these two terms. And then we just have a negative 2 over here. And you might think, okay, I'm done. I've got it in ax plus by equals c form. But remember, there's also a restriction that says that the a is not supposed to be negative, And that's what happened here. That's just sort of bad form, bad etiquette, you know, kind of like using the wrong fork at dinner. So that's not supposed to be negative. So easy to fix that. Multiply both sides by negative 1, and you'll just reverse all the signs. And so distributing that across, you will end up with a positive 5x minus 3y equals 2. And that is the equation of the line perpendicular to 3x plus 5y equals 15 that passes through the point negative 2, negative 4.